Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, problem number 27. Let me read out the problem. Uh, a long straight wire has fixed negative uh, charge with a linear charge density of magnitude 3.6 into 10 uh, nanocoulomb per meter. 3.6 nanocoulomb per meter. The wire is to be enclosed by a coaxial thin walled non conducting cylindrical shell of radius 1.5 centimeters. The shell is to have positive charge on its outer surface with a surface charge density sigma that makes the net external electric field zero. Calculate sigma. Okay, this problem is of great uh, practical importance basically. So, we have a line charge here which is negatively charged with a line charge density lambda 1 equal to minus 3.6 nanocoulomb per meter. Okay, nanocoulomb per meter. And feel because of a line charge, uh, you must be already aware of, we have done it so many times now, is lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r. Okay, lambda, in this case, we will have lambda 1 divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r. Then, we have a charged, uh, we have a cylinder, which is to be given a positive charge on its outer surface, of surface charge density sigma. This is what we have to calculate, of surface charge density sigma. Surface charge density is charge per unit area. We have been dealing with charge per unit length till now. So, this is charge per unit area. Let's suppose this cylinder has a charge per unit length of lambda by uh, lambda 2. Okay, lambda 2. Because uh, our field equations are in terms of lambda. So, we'll write lambda 2 is the charge per unit length of the cylinder. Okay, charge per unit length of the cylinder. Now, we know the field inside the cylinder due to this cylinder is 0. And for outside points, it behaves like a point charge. Uh, it behaves like a line charge along its axis. So, field is lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r. So, inside its field will be 0 and outside it behaves just like a line charge. So, field is lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r. Of course, we will use lambda 2 in this case. Now, since I have to find out sigma and my equation is in terms of lambda. So, I will first find out relation between uh, sigma and lambda. Let us consider a portion of this long cylinder of length L and the cylinder is having a radius of say r. Charge of this part of the cylinder will be lambda into L. I will use lambda for a while, then later on we can use lambda too. Lambda into L. Charge per unit length is lambda, meaning charge of one unit length is lambda. Then charge of L unit lengths will be lambda into L. And then the same charge can be expressed in terms of sigma. Sigma is charge per unit area. Okay, sigma is charge per unit area. That means a unit area has a charge of sigma. So two unit areas will be charge of uh, will have a charge of two sigma. Three unit areas will have a charge of three sigma. So what will be charged from this portion, this part to this part, this point to this point of the cylinder? That will be simply sigma into the area. So sigma into area, surface area of the cylinder is two pi r into l. L and L cancels out. So, lambda is equal to sigma into 2 pi r. Or sigma is equal to lambda divided by 2 pi, uh, 2 pi r. So, we will first find out lambda. We will deal with our routine equation. Then at the end, we will convert that lambda in terms of sigma. Okay. Now, what are we to do? Uh, this line charge this negatively line charge, charged line is to be placed along the axis of the cylinder. Okay, like this, this is along the axis of the cylinder and the surface uh, of the outer cylinder of the cylinder is to be given a positive charge such that field outside becomes zero. Okay, field outside becomes zero. Now, field outside will be field due to the line charge and field due to the cylinder. And remember, four points lying outside the cylinder, it behaves like a line charge along its axis. So, if field outside is zero, that would mean field due to the line plus field due to the cylinder is equal to zero. What is field due to the line? That is lambda 1 divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r. If we are considering this point, suppose here at a distance of r from the axis. What will be the field due to the cylinder? 
at that point since that is outside point so it behaves like a line charge so field will be lambda 2 divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r and this must be equal to 0 2 pi epsilon 0 r is same so it can shift to the we can shift it to other side 0 will eat it up so this implies lambda 1 is equal to yeah rather lambda 2 is equal to minus lambda 1 now lambda 1 we are already aware of is minus 3.6 nano coulomb per meter so lambda 2 is equal to minus minus 3.6 nano coulomb per meter so this implies lambda 2 is equal to plus 3.6 nano coulomb per meter so for field to be zero outside the cylinder the cylinder must be given a line charge density of 3.6 nano coulomb per meter this is how practically you can find field within a particular space so field in this case will be like this no from positive to negative field will be like this just inside nothing outside field outside is zero okay field outside so you are confining electric field to a particular region okay this is one of the ways you do it practically now we have to convert this lambda in terms of sigma we have already seen that sigma is lambda divided by 2 pi r r the radius okay r the radius so sigma now is lambda 2 divided by 2 pi r is radius of the cylinder so lambda we found is 3.6 nano coulomb per meter so 3.6 remember nano coulomb per meter nano coulomb per meter then we have 2 into pi is 3.14 into r radius of the cylinder is given that is 1.5 centimeters okay 1.5 centimeters so 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters so everything is an SI system this is meters everything is in, uh, not everything nano coulomb is not meter is an SI system so sigma is equal to I have already worked this out the 0 0.382 0 0.382 into 10 to the power 2 10 to the power 2 nano coulomb is there then meter meter is meter square so per meter square nano coulomb per meter square so this can be written as nano i can write as 10 to the power minus 9 okay 10 to the power minus 9 so this comes out to be 3.82 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb per meter square if i want to write it in si system 3.82 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb per meter square is that fine that'll do for this session